Good afternoon, y'all. Another beautiful day out here. Absolutely gorgeous, actually. Not too many clouds, although it is supposed to, it's like a 20% chance the next couple days. So probably get a little bit of rain because oftentimes 20% while you're hiking means 100% wherever you're at, you will get rained on. So it's, uh, yeah, should be nice little week. My pack is quite heavy. It's, <clears throat> you know, I think I was talking about packing out like five and a half days of food. My pack or my food bag is completely full. I couldn't even close it all the way. So yeah, my 40 liter pack has 20 liters of food in it. So that's, if you're wondering where most of a hiker's weight come from, oftentimes it's food. And yeah, pretty, pretty pumped. You know, have my last zero of the PCT probably. Um, barring like an injury or a major storm or something, which doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, knock on wood. It's a major storm anyway. Injuries, you never know when those could happen. But about 188 miles, I think, when I left today. So definitely the home stretch. One more resupply in Stahican. And then, oh, well, yeah, just almost there. It's uh, getting real close. And yeah, but the zero was awesome. Leavenworth is an amazing little town. Very, very touristy, but nonetheless, really nice. Um, especially like getting to stay in town and sleep. Not on a bed, I got a couch, but I am more than happy to sleep on a couch. In fact, I'm kind of weird most of the time when I do am like home or wherever I call home, I usually am sleeping on a couch. Just cause, I don't know, beds, it's, it's too much space, I think. So living out in the woods and being in the Navy, sleeping in a rack in like a very enclosed space, it feels weird to like be in a bed. So, slept on a couch, got some nice sleep, well rested, and got about five, five-ish day, uh, couple, well, five and a half, cause rolling into the sixth day should get there the morning of Saturday and yeah it's it's getting close feels weird um I should get some really incredible views today going up I don't know if we'll make it to the top of it's uh like one of the only mountains that you actually go to the peak of on the PCT you know climb Mount Whitney old snowy but actually the official pct route going over the top of the mountain it's super rare and we doing that either the end of the day today or super early tomorrow up to i think it's called grizzly mountain so got that coming up and probably a whole lot of good views ahead so definitely keep a keep a watch for that don't just don't just leave the video now because there'll definitely be some good views um, I do want to say though I've noticed that a lot more people are watching I'm getting actually quite a few subscribers a lot of people are commenting and like, I really do appreciate that I, I love y'all watching coming along with this journey um, I always kind of thought it could happen that oh, people a lot of people would watch me but I never Never expected it, just kind of thought like family and friends and stuff. So those of you who are watching, subscribed, and watch all my videos, I can really, really do appreciate y'all. Um, it, it's given me motivation where I'm like, well, I can't, can't let all these people down. I gotta keep going on the trail. I gotta keep pushing forward. I gotta finish. So y'all have been my motivation y'all have really inspired me to continue going in some of the tougher times i really appreciate that but anyway uh i'm gonna keep hiking forward heading north and i'll see y'all later probably at some really incredible views i've been getting up here so until then absolutely gorgeous view a couple clouds off in the distance you can see 
Highway 2 way down below, just barely. But absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, I'm up here this morning and I don't know if that's smoke or some fog, but I'm kind of leaning towards smoke now. You can see the clouds, direction of the wind are kind of black. Uh, so that's not good. And I don't know what to do about it because I don't have signal. Uh, I don't know. That's bad. Good morning, y'all. It's uh, another beautiful day. It actually is, other than, you know, the uh, possible fire this morning. But other than that, it is really nice. Um, it is supposed to rain this evening, based on my forecast. It's only about 20%, which means I'll get rained on. But it's for uh, tonight, tomorrow morning. And then the next night, and then the next morning. And it'll look sweeter for the rest of the week, which is nice. Especially because I'll be getting into Stahican by the end of the week. And, yeah. Getting closer every day. I think now it's like 175 miles left or something. Uh, something like that. 177. Uh, but, yeah. Made about 11 miles yesterday coming out of town, which isn't the greatest ever, but also isn't terrible. You know, like I've been saying, we are in no rush at this point with, you know, the finish line in sight. And uh, although seeing that fire did make me a bit nervous, uh, but not to sound selfish here, but it is to the east of the trail so the winds will blow it away from the trail so it won't uh, interrupt or it shouldn't unless something crazy happens and if, even if it is a fire um shouldn't like interrupt anybody's hike um you know i know that sounds kind of selfish because it's like all i'm worried about is the hike but the thing is up here is fires are part of the ecology of this area they have to happen for new things to grow and it's very common for all forests um, even on the east coast where forest fires aren't nearly as prevalent they still do controlled burns and sometimes they happen and just to clear out some of the taller trees and allow for new growth um, so small fires are good because they clear out area and make it so stuff doesn't burn quite as often um, so i'm just gonna be happy they're not in the way of the trail or they're not on the trail and, and i don't have to breathe in smoke while i'm hiking or you know risk running into a fire that i didn't know about which is kind of my worst fear out here um but yeah today i don't know how far going at all probably be like 20 a little over 20 that's usually the plan uh especially because that'll set us up for a uh, short day into Sahican doing a little over 20 because i think i started out the day with like 98 left or something um or 98 left of Sahican. and always nice to have a short day into town especially especially if it's gonna be like uh stay overnight and get out because then you have time to resupply the day before and then actually get out somewhat early like right after breakfast the next day oh. yeah um first blowdown i have heard that this section coming up is very blowdowny i think i have to get up past grizzly peak which i'm on the approach to now the one mountain you actually climb um so in close to that i don't uh but i do have to show this mountain it's a nice view uh, you can see i believe that's glacier peak that's what a lot of the comments have been talking about is glacier peak uh seems like it's the wrong direction 
because I feel like we're gonna we're supposed to hike past Glacier Peak, but uh, it could wind its way up and get there in a roundabout way. So uh, yeah, the views have been pretty good lately. Hopefully they'll shape up. I mean, I'm sure on top of Grizzly Peak it'll be pretty nice, just because be on top of a mountain and the Cascades, so it'll be pretty beautiful. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the morning and last night. And uh, I'll see y'all down the trail. So until then. Well, I walked right over Grizzly Peak and didn't even realize I hit the top. I figure I'll share the view from just over. Actually, I didn't give 360 views. And then you get a little better view of what I believe is Glacier Peak. You can scan that for probably a while. It's a good view. I don't know what mountain that is in the distance, but another view of Glacier Peak. You can really see the smoke kind of lingering in the air from that fire. I got some more info on it, and I guess they have known about it and are fighting it, but especially kind of right there. It's a little hazy and darker so it's definitely smoke but luckily it's not coming towards the trail not threatening anything so i'm just gonna enjoy the views you can see the clouds rolling in how clear it is and then just the smoke and the clouds and it's the thunderstorms that were supposed to be here you can kind of see the smoke mixing with the clouds there there's a little bit of thunder and then it gets back to clear again. And really nice view overall. Just glad I'm up, not up on any ridges right now. I think I'm watching, oh, do you see that lightning strike? I'm watching this fire start. That's brand new. Woo! This is a sketchy day right now. And this is blowing over quick and the lightning's moving away, but a lot of lightning strikes. You can see a lot of clouds. A decent bit of lightning right now. Hopefully it stays away from me and doesn't cause that. So I've been watching this fire, making sure it was, seeing if it was getting worse. And oh yeah, yeah, there, it's getting like bad now. You can see the fire rolling up those trees. And I have no idea what to do because I can't call anybody right now. I'm hiking with a girl to work for the Forest Service and see if it's worth 911 because there have been a lot of lightning strikes and all those are going to end up being probably a fire. But it's the first time I've actually like seen an actual tree on fire ever. This is weird. I don't know what to do. What's up, y'all? Just got here into camp. Um, and actually, I think this is where we'll camp. I don't know. The, uh, the lightning's making me a little nervous. Um, but the clouds are clearing up kind of in this area. It's a little bit more north. Um, yeah, yeah, day of seeing fires. Um, definitely not comforting for the rest of the hike, but, you know. It's a, it's a fact of the PCT, like there's going to be fires. Um, and actually, so I didn't talk about this earlier, but that first fire I saw, the bigger one, uh, this morning. So that one is actually, I believe it's called the White River, Fr River Friar. The White River Fire. There we go. Um, and it is, it's, it's well known. It's known about, um, it's actively being fought and... Yeah, so that one didn't need to call in or anything. And that second one that I saw, the one that, like, well, I actually barely missed the lightning strike that hit it. Um, barely missed seeing it. And then actually, you know, got to, like, pretty much watch the fire progress. It actually burned itself out. Um, which I was thinking would happen. Uh, that's why I didn't want to, you know, go crazy and, like, use, like, call emergency services or anything and... Um, I don't even know if my phone would be able to right now either, but 
yeah yeah that one actually burned itself out kind of while i was watching it which was um pretty crazy just saw those few trees catch on fire and then there was no more smoke um there might be there might have been another fire like up and over that ridge that i was uh videoing and but um yeah, i couldn't tell i just saw some smoke coming over uh you know luckily it's not a windy day so hopefully that stuff just kind of burns itself out real quick and um yeah there's not really anything else i personally can do other than keep going north and try and not catch on fire uh so yeah that's that's about it um yeah so that's pretty much the day uh did i think a little over 20 miles um which you know like i've been saying not rushing it's only it's like barely after six o'clock and i'm already in camp and this is like the earliest i've been to camp and almost the whole trail <laughs> other than like hitting town or if i'm like uh if i was man, i might even gotten in a trail later than this the day i did whitney um or gotten into camp later than this uh yeah it's the earliest i've gotten to camp in a very long time so that's pretty nice uh but like i said we might keep going just with the lightning and stuff um yeah, just makes me nervous, kind of, uh, being around trees, but there is a taller mountain around, and a lot of tall trees around, and, uh, the forecast did say thunderstorms until mostly before 11 p.m., so, uh, seems like that's the case, but I don't know, the weather's out here, out here is weird from the Midwest, so I know that weather, and it's simple, and, you know, weather comes and weather goes, it doesn't really pop up over your head, and out here, like, just, like, thunderstorms pop up, in like an hour directly above you and it doesn't it's weird to me i don't i can't like predict anything the way i feel like i normally can <laughs> um a few mosquitoes on me right now but yeah it's pretty much it you know pack's been heavy that's why it's another reason we've been going a lot slower just because like five days of food hurts and uh <laughs> yeah let's do more miles on the on the far end kind of you know when the pack's a little bit lighter um uh, these mosquitoes are bad get off of me uh anyway that's pretty much it um hopefully the fires don't catch up with me you know i've been a little ahead of them the whole time but unfortunately like from pretty much as far as i looked on uh, my weather forecast like pretty much from here to stahican is uh and a little bit farther north is all just gonna be thunderstorms 20 percent chance today tomorrow uh so nothing you can do about it can't control the weather uh, just gotta hope that the fires don't get too bad and i'll still be able to see the terminus uh but anyway yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow um mosquitoes are horrible and that's about it so until then